Lately, I've been noticing a big trend where creators use anime clips with an AI voiceover to share motivational life lessons. Since anime is one of the most watched genres worldwide and often has a motivational and philosophical touch, this works extremely well. But using copyrighted anime is risky. That's why I asked myself, is it possible to generate those clips with AI? Well, as it turns out, you can actually create anime clips which are as good, if not better quality than actual anime. And the best part is that you can do it entirely for free. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own AI generated anime shorts. Let's begin. As always, I'm going to use ChatGPT to create the scripts for these videos. And since these channels all use scripts and quotes based on stoic philosophy, I'm instructing ChatGPT to create the script based on a stoic principle. It's always important to instruct ChatGPT to use modern and simple words and avoid hyperbolic language. This way ChatGPT doesn't sound like a lawyer from the 18th century defending a man whose innocence is faker than a Kardashian's Instagram posts. I've also added a quote I like as inspiration for ChatGPT. And as you can see ChatGPT generates 5 scripts you can use for your videos. For instance, this one about how life is like rough seas and like a skilled captain, you need to sail through these storms instead of avoiding them. Because calm seas never made a skilled sailor. Nice. Next, you want to create the voiceover. And if you don't want to have a voiceover sounding like Siri's annoying cousin, I'd recommend Eleven Labs. This is by far the most realistic voiceover software there is. And they have a free plan which gives you 20 minutes of voice generation a month. When you go to voices on the left side of the screen, you can browse through hundreds of unique voices and really pick one you think fits best with your videos. Once you found a voice you like, paste in your script and select generate. And now the fun part begins. Let's start with the creation of these AI generated anime videos. For this I'm going to use Pika, formerly known as Pika Labs. They have a free plan which gives you 250 credits for free every month. And if you run out of these 250 credits, you get 30 credits a day extra until the next month. I've already generated hundreds of videos, and I can confidently say that I have a very good prompt template you can use to generate these videos. I always start with the subject of the video. In the case of my script about a skilled sailor in rough seas, for instance a sailboat in a storm. Then you want to describe the scenery and ambient of the video. For instance high waves, lightning, rain and a dark ambient. Lastly, you want to describe the style of the video. And since we are making anime videos, I'm going to add Ghibli style anime. And I always like to add hand drawn to really give it an authentic effect. You can also change the aspect ratio. And you might think that you want to change this to 9 by 16 because we are making short form content. But you really want to leave this on 16 by 9. This is because the model is trained on anime videos and they are always in 16 by 9. So this way, you will get much better results. Later you can crop this to fit the short form aspect ratio. You also want to set the frames per second to 12. Again, this is the same frame rate as most animations and will give you much better results. In this case, I want to have a lot of motion in the video. Therefore, I'm going to add some camera motion and set the motion strength to four. Lastly, I always recommend you add negative prompts. These are things you do not want in the video. To start I recommend you just add the following words. Ugly, distortion, deformation, blurry and low quality. Add cheater to that list and you got a pretty accurate description of my ex. When you made your first generation and something appears in the video that you do not want, you simply want to add this to this list. Lastly you want to add a seed number. This is like a code you add to your generation. If you don't change anything and hit generate again, you will get the same result. However, if you change the seed number and nothing else, you will get a variation of your generation. So if you generate something you like, but is not quite there yet, you keep the seed number the same and only adjust your prompt. However, if you generate something which is not what you are looking for, you can simply change the seed number and try again. So this is already looking okay. There is a sailboat, rain and rough waves. However, there is something strange happening in the background, which is definitely not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to change the seed number and try again. And you will simply need to do this a couple of times till you get something you like. Either change the seed number 
or add things to your regular or negative prompts, and you can get amazing results. And now you are almost ready to add everything together. But before you can do this, you will need to download some background music. If you are going to use these videos on Instagram or TikTok, you can simply download the latest viral music. However, if you are going to use these as YouTube shorts, you want to use copyright free music. Epidemic Sound has the largest library of copyright free music. So that's always what I like to use. Now let's add everything together. For this you need an editing software. I recommend using CapCut, simply because it's free and very user-friendly. But you can use every editing software you like since we are only going to use basic features. Upload everything you just downloaded and start by placing the background music and voiceover on the editing timeline first. And here is where you want to pay close attention. Your background music is always what sets the tone of the video and therefore is extremely important. All songs have something which you call a drop or climax. Most of the times, this is where the wavelengths of the song are the highest. Let's have a listen so you know what I mean. As you can hear this is the most important an impactful part of the song. So you want to use this strategically in your video. In my case, I'm going to place the climax of the background music right before the last line of the voiceover, which is the main lesson I'm trying to teach the viewers. So it will sound like this. Because our strength lies not in avoiding the storm, but in sailing through. Remember, calm seas never made a legendary sailor. Now shorten the background music and place it at the start of the editing timeline. You can cut off the rest of the background music by placing the timing bar at the right point in the editing timeline and hitting the split button. All right, now it's time to start adding the generated videos. But before you do this, you want to change the aspect ratio to nine by 16 because we are making short form content. Now simply drag the right videos on the timeline and enlarge them so they cover the entire screen. Then you can adjust the placement so you get exactly what you want in the video. Now simply listen to the voiceover and pause where you want to switch up to the next video. Then shorten the clip and drag the next one onto the timeline. Again enlarge the video and adjust its placement when necessary. Now simply repeat these steps until you have the entire video done. Now here is a small trick you can use when you are working with different video styles or when you have some quality difference in your videos and you still want to get a coherent result. Select all clips and go to adjustments in the top right corner. Now scroll down a little until you see the saturation slider. Put this one all the way to the left and set the brightness to for instance minus 20. This will make the videos black and white and a bit darker giving you a more dramatic feel. It's like watching a French art film, but sadly without all the nudity. If you then go to effects and search for black noise, you can add a so-called overlay by dragging this on top of your video. This will make your videos match much better and enhance the dramatic effect even more. This is something widely used by other creators as well. The last thing you want to do is to add captions to your video, also known as subtitles. Around 40% of people who watch short form content do this with the sound off or on low volume. If you don't add captions, all these people won't watch your video, giving you almost no chance to go viral. Besides, captions are a great way to engage your viewers, which result in them watching the video longer, giving you even more chance to go viral, especially if you are using animated captions like these. For this, I always like to use some magic. This is an AI-powered tool which automatically transcribes your video and adds animated captions. You can use this program for free. However, I would recommend looking into a paid plan to unlock all features. I reached out to Submagic and they actually created a special discount code for me to share with you guys. 
You can find the link to Submagic with the discount code and all other tools used in the description of this video. Once you have signed up you want to select Create and upload the video you just created in CapCut. Then you want to select one of the 50 languages Submagic supports and select Transcribe. And within seconds you have these high quality animated captions. Here you can then choose from a couple of viral pre-made caption templates, like the Hermosi captions, the Mr. Beast style captions, and many more. Personally, I like the clean style of the Amon Godzi captions for these type of videos. If you scroll down a little, you can change the color, size, and position. If you select Edit Theme, you can actually change almost everything to create the exact style you want. Next, you want to check if the transcription is correct or if you need to make some manual adjustments. In this case, the transcription is already 100% correct. Once you are done, select Export in the top right corner and download your video. And you are done. Now, let's have a look at the final result. A wise man once told me, life is like steering a ship through rough seas. It's the storms and the waves that strengthen us like a captain who remains steady and calm when the seas get rough, we must remain calm in the face of life's challenges. Because our strength lies not in avoiding the storm, but in sailing through. Remember, calm seas never made a legendary sailor. That turned out even better than I expected. I'm willing to bet that we are going to see more and more of these types of videos in the upcoming months. Right now, we are mainly seeing shorts with still images like these. So if you are one of the first to master this method and be creative, you can 100% create content that has a lot of potential to go viral. This is simply way more engaging and fun to look at than still images. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. More content is coming your way. Thanks for watching and until next time.